Hello guys, in this video, we want to add the tax bar to the project and make it like this. Watch this video to the end if you like to know how. Okay, here is the roadmap for this lesson. Let's start by creating the tag model. Let's open up the explorer inside the shared folder, right click on the models, click on new file, write tag.ts, then close the explorer. Let's write export class tag to generate the tag model. Its first property is name with the type of a string and its second property is count required with the type of number. So we made the tag model. Let's go to the next step. That is adding sample tags to data.ts. Once again, we don't have a backend and we need to use sample data. Open up the explorer and go to the data.ts. End of the file, create another constant with the name of sample tags. With the type of tag array, the tag is not imported. Press control dot and enter to import it. Then make it equal to this array that you can copy from the commit link in the description below. We are done here and we added the sample tags. Now it's time for adding two methods to the food service. The first one for getting all the tags and the second one get all the foods by a tag. So let's start by adding get all tags method. Go to the food service. After the last method, add another method with the name of get all tags with the type of tag array. It should return sample tags. As you can see, we cannot have access to the sample tags because we forgot to export it inside the data.ts. Let's get back to the data.ts and add an export to the beginning of this constant to make it available from the outside. Close the data.ts. Now here, press control dot and press enter. As you can see, now we have the sample tags that is coming from the src slash data. Now it's time for adding get all foods by tag method that will find all the foods that have a specific tag. So it needs to get tag as an input and it should return a food array as the result. It is very similar to search function, but instead of the name, we search on the tags of the food. So let's write return this dot get all dot filter food.tags includes tag and here we are checking that this tag is included inside food tags property but we need to add one more condition here that the tag is equal to all so after the return we can write if the tag is equal to all question mark if the tag is equal to all just return this dot get all without any condition colon means otherwise return the filter tag as you can see we have an error here you just need to press a backspace to put this condition on the same line as the return okay we have our two methods here let's go to the next step that is adding the tags route to the app routing module from the explorer open up the app routing module then after the search add another route with the path of tag literal slash tag parameter. So inside the address bar, we will see a tag and the tag parameter, for example, fast food. This tag will be the tag literal and this tag that has colon here will be the parameter that we can get and use for showing the foods based on the tag. Then set its component to home component. Just like the search, we want to show the filtered food based on the tags inside the home component. Okay, we're done here. Let's close the app routing module. We need to go to the next step, that is show the tag result in home component. Let's go to the explorer and open up the home component.ts file. As you can see, we are listening to the params and we look at for the search term and, and we do the search here. We need to do exactly the same thing for the tags. Let's add an else if here and check if the params.tag is available. Then set this.foods equal to this.foodService get all foods by tag. Then pass 
the params.tag. So anytime that we have a tag parameter inside the route, it will filter the foods based on that tag. Okay, let's see it in action. On the address bar, put a slash tag slash fast food. As you can see, we have all the foods that have the tag of fast food. Now for the next step, we want to add the tags bar here. Inside the code, close the home component. We want to generate the tags component. So open up the terminal. First of all, go to the front end folder, then generate the tags component by writing NGGC inside components folder partials folder and tags that is the name of the component then press enter okay our component is generated let's add it to the home component to show it inside the browser close the terminal from the explorer select home component html file then after the app search press enter then add app dash tags Let's see it inside the browser. We have the tags works here. It means we can go to the next step. That is adding required code to the tags component TS file. Let's open it up here. From the partials folder, tags folder, select the tags component TS file. First of all, we want to add a tax property here, just like how we did for the search. And its type is tag array. If the tag is not imported, press control dot and press enter to import it here. Now we need to fill this tags property. Let's inject the food service here by writing food service with the type of food service. Inside the constructor, write this.tags is equal to food service dot get all tags. So we are feeding all the tags from the food service to our property inside the tags component. It's time for going to the next step that is adding required HTML code. From the explorer, open up tags component HTML file, clear everything here. Let's add a div here, then check ngf. The tags has value, then show all the tags as anchor tag. So we need to look through the tags using ng4 equal to let tag of tags. That its router link will go to the slash tag slash tag dot name. Then close the anchor tag, then show the tag dot name and the tag count inside parentheses. So put double curly braces inside the parentheses. Parentheses will be shown as a literal that has the value of tag dot count. Now, if we look at the browser, we could be able to see all the tags with number of foods that they have. For example, for the lunch, hamburger, fry, soup, and everything. Now it's time for the last step that is adding a style to the tags component. Close the tags component HTML file, then open up tags component.css file. We have a div that is display should be flex and its flex wrap should be a wrap. And for the A tags inside the div, their background color should be hashtag F0, F0, F0. Their padding should be 0.3 rem from the top and bottom and one rem from the left and right. Their margin should be 0.2 rem from top and bottom and 0.15 rem from left and right. For their radius should be 10 rem, completely round shape. And their font weight should be a little bit bold. 600 and their color should be blue let's see them in action they are okay but they are not on the middle let's set the justify content to center to put them on the middle inside the div set justify content to center okay we have our functional tags inside our website so this was for this session on the next video we want to work on the food separate page you've been watching code with nasir and i hope to see you next time